Sometimes dance is real smooth and sometimes it's kind of hard. Um, when I'm making work and getting classes, sometimes the work has to be real strong and kind of banging because it's important to be able to explode and express uh, emotions and capt uh, the attention of the spectator. And sometimes in work on stage, it's very important that things are not so smooth and so perfect and so mechanical and well thought out physically, like what we also try to do in class. Because if you look at the exercises and, and the dancing, uh, the combination of this week, you'll notice that the exercise on the floor, the floor work, and the uh, center floor are smooth. Um, logical, precise, easy, flowing, organic, easy to do. You can do, the, you can do the work without too much effort. It just sort of follows through the body. Articulations are done pretty well. There's no danger, which is really important for, uh, for dancing in order to avoid all these, uh, uh, these injuries and to be able to have your body work in the most organic and intelligent manner. But on stage, <clears throat> sometimes we have to uh, make some noise and do things that are not even, not actually the best for the body. We have to sacrifice ourselves a bit, consume our articulations a bit, consume some of our muscle fibers and uh, skin uh, because it's for the message that has to be brought across uh, in the art. And so sometimes there's sacrifices involved. The idea is not to make it so easy to do and easy to see and easy to run with, but it has to be a little more in conflict, and a little, uh, yeah, less harmonious. It's a kind of dialogue, it's kind of a conflict, kind of a dichotomy, a tension between these two ideas. And when you're doing a dance work on stage, you have to measure it and decide rather than just do something by habit or by ideology, in my opinion. That's what I have to say today. Thanks. Bye.